Which is better, a ghost bed mattress or a nectar mattress? Well, that's what I'd like to talk to you about in this video. Hello, I'm Lee Carter, president of Sleep Essentials. Sleep Essentials is a retail business I started about 14 years ago, and I sold a, a lot of memory foam mattresses when I first got started. But I had to learn the hard way that memory foam is polyurethane, which is plastic. And polyurethane foam, or plastic foam, softens substantially with use. Now, of course, I've mentioned the ghost bed or the nectar. Let me read to you the ghost bed uh, law label. Take a look at this. It says, polyurethane foam pad, 54%. Viscoelastic polyurethane foam pad, 29%. And then of course it has 70% latex on top. So this is 83% polyurethane or plastic foam. Now the Nectar, I don't have the Nectar's law label, but I got this right off their website. It says Nectar's foam layers include lush one inch, four pound, semi-open, fast recovery gel memory foam, which is polyurethane, a three inch, three and a half pound memory foam with a medical grade cooling and recovery levels which is memory foam again is polyurethane and finally 2.2 pound high density base foam which is polyurethane so nectar's mattress is 100 percent polyurethane and the ghost bed mattress is uh, 83 percent polyurethane so these mattresses are predominantly plastic now why does that matter well plastics plastic foam soften substantially with use now to prove that i've also got a copy of the ghost bed warranty uh, let me read that to you. This limited warranty does not cover, it's in bold, does not cover any normal increase or decrease in the feel or any normal decrease in the recovery feature of the ghost bed material, neither which affect the performance of pressure relieving qualities of the mattress. Uh, indeed, it, they're admitting to it softens, but it does not affect the pressure of the, yeah, that what they said, pressure relieving qualities of the mattress, but it does affect the support qualities of the mattress. As that, as that foam softens, you're going to sag down into the mattress in a hammock effect. It's going to soften where, where you lay the most, and it's going to get softer there. So it does affect the support. You know, when you get it, it's going to be flat. You're going to sleep flat. It's going to be new. Over time, it's going to soften. I'm going to talk about how quickly it softens in a minute. But now for the nectar uh, warranty, let me read that to you. This mattress warranty does not cover a normal increase in softness of the foam pressure relief material which does not affect the pressure relieving qualities of the mattress. Uh, they know, these companies know, all online only mattress companies know, all memory foam mattress manufacturers uh, know that the foam softens and they all exclude softening in the fine print of their warranty. Because they know the consumer in a few years is going to contact them and say, you know, the mattress has got huge dips in it, um, it's gotten a lot softer. Now, the reason I can say that is because I sold a lot of memory foam mattresses. And in fact, I sold a memory foam mattress, 100% polyurethane foam, 100% plastic, to a man that weighed about 350 pounds. And uh, he called me up in one year and complained the mattress has gotten ridiculously softer. He says if I roll over, he was, a, uh, he was sleeping in a king-size mattress, he said if if I roll over to the middle of the other side of the bed where I don't sleep, he goes, it feels nice and firm like it was when it was new. And I had to replace his mattress because it had gotten so soft. Now, I as a retailer replaced it out of compassion for my customer, but I didn't get compensated for the, for the uh, mattress getting softer because softening is not covered in the fine print of the warranty of that mattress. I also picked up a memory foam mattress from a gentleman that I sold a mattress to, you know, a haul off the used mattress from my customers, and he had a eight inch thick polyurethane foam mattress. It wasn't even memory foam, it was just polyurethane. He thought he'd gotten a really, really good deal on the mattress, uh, but he had to replace it in six months because it had, the foam had gotten so soft. So he really didn't get a good deal. What you have to understand, and I'm not just picking on Nectar or Ghost Bed, um, all online only mattress companies operate like this. They offer you predominantly a plastic foam mattress, something they can compress and roll and, pat and ship to you uh, in a small box. Uh, you unroll it, it expands, and chances are it's gonna feel good to you. 
uh, because you know why are you looking for a new mattress because the one you've got now doesn't sleep well well you're gonna get on one of these foam mattresses go, oh this is great and uh, you're likely to keep it past their hundred day trial and it, it two or three or four years later depending on how heavy you are because obviously the more someone weighs the softer the foam will feel if you're a 110 pound woman you know uh, you probably could use one of these online only uh, plastic foam mattresses uh, just you know many years but if you're 250 pound man you're going to soften it fairly quickly two or three years you're going to want to throw the mattress away because it's not supporting you anymore um, now how these online only mattress companies work is it's you know plastic is dirt dirt cheap they can produce these plastic foam mattresses for you know somewhere in the neighborhood of hundred dollars and then they turn around and sell you sell it to you online for a thousand dollars which is cheaper than what you can get at a retail store and they give you the 100 day trial now if they have to take back 15 20 percent of those mattresses from customers say well i don't like the way it feels uh, the margin on the ones of the people that kept it they still make money and they write off the ones that that have been returned or they've allowed you to donate they get to write it off so that's how they make money but the problem is to you consumers is that you're going to get a mattress that's plastic and it's not going to last long listen i want you to go to my website mattresseducation.net when you log on there's an hour and 10 minute video and i'm going to teach you everything you need to know about mattresses i'm going to teach you about uh the materials that are used today and you know almost all mattresses today are predominantly plastic foam I'm going to teach you about the marketing gimmicks, the warranty gimmicks, the sales gimmicks. I'm going to teach you about uh, a quality product, what really does last and is worth your money. And I'm also going to teach you about the toxic fire retardant chemicals used in mattresses, which is a, uh, a subject that you as a consumer probably know very little about. It's swept under the rug. You need to know what's going on. So please go to my website, mattresseducation.net. As soon as you log on, the video starts playing and I will see you there. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Lee Carter. I'm president of Sleep Essentials.